Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the Friday show. Jenna is here to share with us the dog products and stuff that I have in my room. <laughs> She's giving you an inside Absolutely. little peek at some of her favorites, the things she keeps in her room for not only, here's here's the truth about Jenna, she, she kind of rotates dogs in and out. Yep. All of her dogs are in our breeding program. Um, two of them are males. That can be complicated when they're breeding with a female at within that week, um, then they love to mark. And so... Yeah. There's rotations in this house. So Jenna has several dogs of her own that she's trained. I have trained. two right now that mm -hmm. I'm planning on keeping for a little bit. Two and a half. Well, yeah, she's yeah, she's really two. like, you have three and a half. She has Augie, which so many of you know, yeah. our toy uh, poodle. Yeah. That, that's true. Augie. I don't really count Augie. <laughs> He's so little. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then she has Forrest, who she has trained as a service dog to help her mitigate um, anxiety out in public. He body blocks, does deep pressure therapy, has his public access work, um, helps her go into situations where she may not previously feel comfortable going into. Like, you know, so yeah. she's working on that. Like, you know, yeah. exactly what the dog should do. Um, and then um, she has Forey's Rider, which was a puppy of ours that she has raised, and she rotates too. She does stay in here a lot more because she doesn't mark in. The house. Come yeah. On. And then we have Forey's Lemon, who is yeah. Hollis's um, puppy, our Hollis lines, and she also kind of rotates in and out as well. So, anyway, yes. Jenna has a <laughs> collection of her favorite dog yes. items because she's spent. Good morning, Heather. Um, working them caring for them playing with them you know we talk about meeting their needs in order rules boundaries limitations number one so she has a kennel in her room yes. although she lets Ryder sleep where on my bed right Ryder forest sleeps where yeah forest is on my bed um, and augie sleeps where <laughs> on my bed yeah. and i have a twin size bed so it can be a little squishy <laughs> lemon sleeps in the kennel. In the kennel, because she's the newest uh, yes. rotation. Good morning, Tina. <laughs> um, and so, what was I saying? Oh, meeting our dog's needs in order, rules, boundaries, limitations. The second is mental and physical exercise. So she'll talk about some of the things she does for mental stimulation. Um, and then, of course, they have the farm for physical and yeah. lots of play, and they all love each other. And those of you who have been <laughs> following us and know Brooklyn, Brooklyn's best friend is Ryder. Um, those two girls play nonstop outside. They get filthy and muddy and roll in it and dig in it. And they have the best time um, and, and get my house filthy as well because they all come in muddy and filthy. Speaking yeah. of Brooklyn, she is rolling right here. <laughs> um, thank you again for everybody's love and support yesterday as we did navigate a very difficult day with uh, Brooklyn. She did phenomenal. Stay tuned for her placement lessons that will begin on Monday. So we'll start sharing more about um, Jeff, her specific handler that's getting the dog, his hopes and goals for the program. He'll explain it better and get a lot more insight. So we're just working a little backwards with that. All right. Jenna's, I I, I, not just her, I, I can't even say her favorite things, but this is literally what she just pulled out of yeah. her room last night. Um, currently yeah. what she has right now and for her use. dogs. Yeah. What she uses, go ahead. Start? It doesn't matter. Wherever you want. I guess to we'll start with treats because I have a lot of those. Okay, lots of treats, yes. Okay, start with your treats. Your, some of your favorites. All the stuff we buy on Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Brooklyn loves these too. These are the duck and blueberry. Blueberry ones. I love that they're small. They are really they're small. They're not greasy. Yeah. Okay, they love like those. I don't know. It's a weird combination. Blueberry. Pumpkin and mango. Those are who's those favorite? Ryder's favorite? Ryder loves these. Ryder yeah. loves those. I mean, who would love some pumpkin and mango? I do. And the pumpkin mm -hmm. and banana, which Forrest and Augie like these. Those are Forrest and Augie. So see, she has the different treats for the different dogs. I'm going Yeah. <coughs> Excuse yeah. me. I think another one's coming. No, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Heather, what a long day for you guys. You were gone for several hours. Yeah, we started, we left the farm. Brooklyn and I left the farm at um, 7 o'clock in the morning. And we didn't get back until 
3.30. So for her, drive time counts, although she, she sleeps in the car, so it was really... Although coming back, she was a little more antsy and anxious and just wanted to eat. And like you have to think about it from her point of view, she was on a leash that entire time. And that's a very a long lot. time for a year old dog. And so she was antsy, antsy for sure. And just ready <laughs> off the leash <laughs> out front with her best friend, Ryder, and uh, her newer friend, Lemon. And they, they she was out long. there forever. She just, yeah. <laughs> she, just she, and laps. she de-stressed, de-stressed, and then came in and ate double her dinner. This girl, I was with her. I, girl, I was feeling it too. We, I had four pieces of pizza. <laughs> That's not that much. <laughs> it is. Four pieces out of a six-piece <laughs> pizza. And, um, and Brooklyn had two bowls. She had double her food, too. We were hungry, but we didn't get lunch or actually didn't eat all day. So I came home a little hungry and crabby. <laughs> Brooklyn was hungry. Okay. Um, Kayla, new to the uh, family and getting a puppy in March. Yay, Yay. so excited. March babies. <laughs> Michelle, we love the, the I don't know how yeah, to pronounce it. The fruitable treats, yeah. Yeah, and then the fruit, yep. Yeah. Our Healing Hearts it. team uses those, yes. Yes. Um, for bones, I have two because I spoil my ducks. <laughs> this Let's is the, the yak cheese ones. Okay. They're yak, Y A K, yak. Yep. They do ingest these. You do have to watch them um, yeah, with they'll it. Get these, yeah, they'll, they will. They will. They do eat them, and so you just have to watch them. We've had knock on one really good luck. But luck but when it gets really small here one is actually broken is there we take them away um a little tip or trick is you can put it in the microwave and kind of blow it up like a marshmallow and they can eat the rest of it if you want but we don't let them have the small hard piece that's left it's even this yak. is even i'll let it like be like a lot longer than that yes it away. oh my god it's a bit broken this. blow it up like a marshmallow yeah they can finish it but and these cheese it depends on your chewer, though. Our doodles are not super heavy chewers. I mean, this does last them a little while. It does. And, and we've had good luck with it not causing honey upset because that's always the trick, right? Like, you want to give them safe items, but you don't want it to upset their tummy. Good morning, Tom. Janet is so smart. What about dog farts from trees? Thanks, Tom. I'm so glad oh, you brought geez. that up. <laughs> what you get for being a year older? It was his birthday <laughs> yesterday. It was the day before. Happy belated birthday. Happy um, birthday. Yes. So we always recommend trying one treat at a time yeah. like for a week uh, and then yeah. making sure we don't have farts from treats and, and or only gets diarrhea like or tummy upset. Yeah. yeah. That's why she has different treats for different dogs. Yeah. Yep. Okay. These are the Prina Prime bones. Oh, did you bring any fully sticks or you don't have any right now? I don't have any right now. Oh, okay. Right now. They only get like one week. We do buy bully sticks as well. B L L Y bully, yeah. bully stick. Those are good. Hecto and they, some of them can really stink. Mm -hmm. Okay. But oh, they're oh, really where's good. your um? Oh, the trachea and the uh, yeah, it's back here. since we're talking about trees. Okay. Where's the trachea? Oh, it's over here. And I'm always gonna give you the cons on some of these. <laughs> Here's the trachea. Um, also safe for dogs. It's no rawhide. We do not feed any rawhide. There's been too many dogs that have gotten rawhide stuck in their throat. Our own clients with our own, with dogs we've sold them have choked on rawhide. This is a trachea. Fair warning it's though. It's throat. Yep. It's noisy though when they chew on it. So if you have yeah. kind of like an, like what is like the phobia of noise? Like not a phobia of noise, but like I can't stand yeah. smacking, licking, chewing at all. Oh, I can't really. Crunching, either. ice crunching. Like I can't stand. I don't even like the sound of kissing. So I have this issue. Like there has to be something out there. Like just the, you don't like any sounds that the mouth makes other than talking and laughing, I guess. But um, I, I, it can't be next to me chewing on this. It's too noisy. It's and the there's another one too. They can't be by me chewing on. Grab the other one. But they're safe and they love them. This That's one, my own weird thing. They, I don't like it. I don't like noisy stuff. And they can't lay next to me and lick either. I put this one in there in their kennel because it it lasts so long. These last forever. These are out in our nursery as well for they our dogs. Super forever, yeah. safe. Um, what are they called again? The, the uh, buffalo horns. Buffalo, buffalo horn hoof. hoof? hoof? No, horn horns. Horn. Buffalo horns. Yeah, yeah and you can see, that. like, this one's been chewed on a lot. That's a lot of chewing, and it still looks really good. Buffalo horn. Yeah, Buffalo right. horn, yeah. Again, depending. So, like, some of my dogs can lay and quietly chew on this. But the, who, who, was I, who was obnoxious with it? 
rider. I thought rider. she was going to break a tooth. I was. I said to take it away. She's going to break a tooth. She was so annoyed. She's like, <sighs> I'm like, and it was making this god awful sound, and I had to take it away from her. Yeah, she she, she did noisy. that. She did, she, she did too, right there. She's just obnoxiously loud. And so then, if you have yeah. an aversion to s- sounds with chewing, snacking, licking, some of these have to be <laughs> done. When you're not like sitting right there, okay. I, these poor I have it. Oh, dang. chewing, slurping, smacking. Oh, misophonia. Thank you, Heather. I love you. She always yes, all I of those. Freeze, I freeze, freeze my bully sticks and the... yak cheese. Oh, you freeze I'm them. Try that. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Maybe Make that them last a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of that, that's a great tip. Kayla says she freezes her bully sticks and yak chews to make them last a little bit longer. Something else we do with the freezer too. Jenna doesn't keep them in her room, though we do have them in the freezer. Oh yeah. Get from the butcher. Um, we do the big knuckle bones from like a beef cow, if if you want, but it's fine. Um, so they chew on them a little bit and then we put them back in the freezer. They chew, and they, it will last like three times is all. And the but longer, it's like a super, like, it's like a treat, like every it's a really high value. Yeah. And we do the big knuckle bones. The issue with breaking teeth is you don't want something so small or hard. Like we love our antlers too. You didn't have any antlers. No, not right now. There's always, there's always the possibility of them cracking a tooth. It's a higher probability if it's small enough that it can fit behind the molars back here because it will break the molar because they're back there chewing and it gets behind the tooth. Mm-hmm. So these big knuckle bones, it's really difficult for them to break a tooth and they can lick and they can chew and roll it around. And they are raw. Don't ever get cooked bone because they can break into that. They'll splinter and choke. So next time you're at the butcher, see if they have any big knuckle bones or just uh, bigger weight bearing bones freeze let them chew a little bit freeze them again let them chew you can only do it so so many times you have to throw them away because they do get yeah. uh dirty and full of bacteria so you throw them away but okay sorry betty bones i um, love these so and you let people know there's all different there's all sorts of sizes like, yeah. and flavors and yeah that's these are super there. safe to leave oh yeah unattended unattended in a kennel and room yeah mm-hmm Benna bones, there's different shapes, sizes, clearly shapes and sizes, same thing. Well, no, shapes and sizes, small, medium, large, um, and they make them flavored. They're plastic. Some yeah. dogs are never, ever going to chew on these plastic Benna bones. They're just going to call you out on it. Yeah. Um, other dogs, will. they love them, so it just depends on the dog. Ryder likes them. What about ice cube treats? Yeah, ice cube <laughs> treats are great, too. There's so yeah. many, Tom, but our focus is what's in Jenna's room, so... Yes. Raw bones, I ice cream treats are great. I used to, Jenna makes ice cream treats art all, all the, ta- the time. Ice cube treats. Tell them some of the things you put in the ice cubes. You can and do... get the big whiskey ice cube trays. Um, so they're bigger for the bigger dogs. And what kind of stuff do you put in them? I'll put. Um, oh, I just lost it. I was gonna say it, but I lost it. The, Sorry, um, not my fault. The the um, the. The stuff that's in the pantry, you know, like the liquid. Broth. Broth. Broth is is. the main liquid. (laughs) Broth and water. You can put all sorts of fruits that are safe. Vegetables, chicken. Yeah. So she'll do fruit ones that are like blueberries and safe fruits. She'll do a Mm -hmm. veggie one. She'll do a protein one. Peanut butter. A peanut butter. Peanut butter in the middle and then freeze it. And freeze it. So it's really fun during the summer too. They make a mess all over the floor though. So either put put it on a tray. Put it on a tray, put it on a little blue pool, in a blue pool, put it outside on the patio that you can spray off. But yes. ice cubes are a fantastic way to do yeah. it. And, and you can like, look up, there, there's take so leftovers. much stuff If I have it. leftover soup that everything's fine, like to feed the dogs, pour them in an ice cube tray and give them to your dogs later. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry, yeah. go ahead. No, it's okay. Um, yeah. Okay, brain games. I love this. Ryder works at this every night. So you put the food in and then it opens and you have to just like roll it around. You have to get up. Where's the shoot? So where does it open up? At the top. Okay. So then you put your food in there. There's still some in there from last night. And she rolls it around and it's only that one little hole it comes out of. Yeah. Okay. And she works at it forever. There's several. And you can <laughs> open it all sorts of like sizes depending oh, on your food. So make it more difficult. Or all the so way. the holes, she can change the size of the hole. Yeah. There's lots of different versions of this for mental stimulation. Remember, that's the second need of a dog. Rabbits also love these. Rabbits also, yes, rabbits yeah. also. Okay. <laughs> There's Kongs. There's the Kong version. It's called a Kong Wobbler. Yeah. Um, also, like if you don't, ha- you don't have to buy anything either. Take a plastic water bottle, dry it out, take the lid off and throw it away. Take the label off and throw it away. Put, put their the whole in. meal in it. 
mm-hmm. put their whole dinner in it, put it on the floor, let them figure out how to get their food out. They'll push it. They they pick it up. They, you know, then they're eating the kibble off the floor and then they're pushing it all back around. It's great mental stimulation and cheap and easy. The next one. Here's Rider also. This one's easy for Ryder, but Lemon's working at it. This is the box. It's the Outward Hound. This is easy. She's showing a puppy puzzle that hide the food underneath like these bones and they have to so there's lots of different brain games where they have to push pull um this one's a push or lift lift these yeah. bones off of the tray and you can make it harder and easier depending on which way so it's on the harder but then if you flip it it's easier because it sticks up more yeah there's cheap ways to do brain games for puppies too you can do um a cupcake pan and put tennis balls on top and hide food in the cupcake pan and they have to push the balls off. So there's there's mm-hmm. cheaper, easier, more creative ways too where you don't have to buy the puzzles. Yes. The bad part about buying the puzzle is once they figure it out, it, it's, it's easy. It's not so much mental stimulation anymore. Like they can still do it here and there and kind of rotate. Yeah, um, that's why I rotate mine. Yeah, I mean this is a new one. So this is a new one she bought because she right. it. already got it done. Yeah, she can get in like those things. She's smart like that. She is, yeah, she but Lemon's smart. working on it now. Yep, they love that one. Linda's asking, hi, I'm new. I have an American Bully. I need tough, chewy items. What the price is on the items? I We get all of ours on Amazon, so it depends on you the size. Look, yeah. And yeah, and then there's type there's in different for sizes, aggressive yeah. chewer, toys for aggressive chewers. And there's Kong, the, the brand Kong makes a lot of good things. The, the Benna yeah, bones the are Benna, good. Yeah. The, the, the larger ones could be $15. The, the, horns. the horns are... Those are... And they're, everything's yeah. a little pricey. The horns are good, though, because they do last a little longer. The trachea tube is not going to last your dog very long at all. That's like a, 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 a treat. treat. Maybe you could try to fill it with broth and freeze it. Oh. That's what we should do, actually. <gasps> we, we're going to try that. We're going to fill it with yeah. broth. We're going to put it in a cake pan, maybe. And then they have to lick it out, too. Why don't we put it in a cake pan? We'll fill it all That's with a good broth. Idea. And then they have to get it out of the ice. I didn't think about doing that. I just thought of it. I don't know if it will work or not. We'll try. We'll try. <laughs> you, what are you new? Okay. I should make a video on that. Yeah, maybe we should yeah. try it. Okay. Okay. Keep going. In her room. Yeah, in this is all in my room. She <laughs> she takes things. She forges. My she forges from my stashes. She okay, forges from hold the on. nursery. Hold on, hold on. She forges. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, where is XYZ? Jenna's room. Okay. Where was Brooklyn's working collar yesterday? I couldn't find. I have a fair excuse for that one. I Let you all know, I didn't have her working collar yesterday. Got up in the morning. You get should her ready. have asked me. I, I shouldn't have. Is. I took it off of her and put it on her kennel. I get up in the morning to go <laughs> to take her to work all day. I have no collar for her. You didn't her. ask me. Not you were in bed. I didn't. I should have. I should have got her yeah, up. Yeah, you should have. I would have pointed Why? at my closet. <laughs> Strangely, weirdly, Brooklyn's collar has disappeared out of thin air, and I <laughs> legit have to go work her at a memorial today. I left without it. She was on a flat buckle collar. Like she's only one. Um, she's on a. She's supposed to be on a martingale. It just gives us a, a, a okay. little better communication for a little better control. So God love her on top of everything else. She didn't have her proper gear yesterday. Where was her collar? Not in my closet. But you did not it, ask in your me. where in your closet. Why in the world would it be in your closet? Because I used it for writer. Remember we went to the tractor spy and yeah. And I forgot to sticky back, fingers. So I just put it. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Yes, it means to take everything. Oh yes, okay, good. Sticky fingers. Okay, finish with your sticky finger items. Okay, okay. Did you buy that or did uh, did you take that? I don't want to answer that. <laughs> exactly. Go ahead. No. Okay, show us what else your favorite is that you sticky fingered. <laughs> Spider Man. A metal comb. In my room. It doesn't really, you can find That's cheaper good. ones, but a metal comb is what I groom my dogs with. Okay. Also, a Hertz brush. I will say, though, she did let me use that yesterday for Brooklyn. Yeah. Not a fair trade, though. And brush I bought this. A working collar. I, I bought this. She did. I bought this. She did lend it to me. I do appreciate that. You're welcome. It's full of riders here. Not worth the collar, though. That was not a fair trade. I'm just saying. Speaking 
Speaking of collars, it's a collar. <laughs> Which was <laughs> this, this is Forrest. Not, it's not what okay. I was looking for. This is Forrest. <sighs> Rookie Cookies this. collar. Where is it now on my desk? Well, we're good now. Yeah, we have it. Know. Jenna's not going to yeah. use it again. That's Forrest. Yeah, Forrest. Yeah. Yeah. People that get scared of the prong collar, I know it can be scary. It looks scary. Any tool can be used to harm a dog. And it's really we cool. have found when used correctly with respect. It is a highly effective way to communicate with the dog, which I think is the most humane thing you can do. If it freaks you out, if if you're sitting there feeling really judgmental about it, I hear you, I see you, I challenge you to put it on your wrist, give yourself a little correction, and then let me know how that feels. It does not hurt. It's not what you think. It really is not. It's, it's an even pressure all the way around. It looks all scary. Have dogs been harmed by this collar? Absolutely. Dogs have been harmed by flat buckle collars. Dogs have been harmed by leashes. Dogs have been harmed by people's hands. I mean, at the end of the day, it's Everything the human can. behind the tool. Mm -hmm. We love prong collars. It's such a beautiful, effective way to communicate with the dog, to remind them we're not to pull, we're working, we need to remember our manners, so on and so forth. Kind of like putting a kid, a girl in a dress or a boy in a suit. Kinda. 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 Okay. Okay. I just, I just had to do my little disclaimer. I love. You can't just pull leashes. out the prong collar <laughs> without our disclaimer. The Those, leather leash. I do. Yeah, I do too. But I love a coupler too. Oh yeah. Oh, I do have one of those in my room. <laughs> we brought that out. But a leather leash. <laughs> Kayla it's doesn't like the prong collars, but if you're going to the vet, why would it matter going to the vet or somewhere else, Kayla? I'm going to challenge you. If your dog, if you're able to communicate effectively and respectfully for your dog so that they stay in a calm state of mind and they're not um, being aggressive or fearful and it keeps them balanced and neutral, why wouldn't you use a tool that helps remind them to that you're safe, you're you're protected, um, I'm communicating with you correctly? I don't know. Just a thought. Okay, getting down to like. The and once they know about it, guess what? You you don't have to do corrections. It's just a reminder. And if they oh, yeah. pull on me, that's them giving themselves a correction. I didn't do anything. They pulled. It was a reminder of pressure. Again, Kayla, put this on your wrist. Go like this. Like, if you would, give a dog just a little correction. Hey, knock it off. That's unacceptable. I need you to stay in a calm state of mind because I love you and I care about you and I want you to be happy and fulfilled. Give yourself a little correction. See how it feels. Mm -hmm. It does not hurt at all. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Stain and odor. It is broken. Eliminator. I use job. this whenever there's an accident. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Okay. It smells really good. <laughs> it is great for accidents. For waterless shampoo, I like the babies. Is that is that how you put it? Bagley's. It's a B yeah. This is oatmeal mango. It smells really good. It's empty, pretty much. Mm -hmm. It's like a little bit less. Uh Lives and Buttons. I was looking for that yesterday that. too. So Brookie Cookie could have smelled I, good. I stole this in a long time. I know you saw it a long time ago. I was still looking for it. She this was out she in the red shed her, in a box. Her fufu spray on yesterday either. So she didn't have her working She's collar so on. She didn't have her Again, mango you spray on. Me. You were in bed. I will remember next time to wake yeah, you up. I was trying to be up. a polite, caring, compassionate mom and not wake you up. Okay. Okay. Kiwi <laughs> mango. Well, next, time. <laughs> next time, I'm no problem waking you up. <laughs> I love that one. It smells good. There's a, it we smells love really other good. flavors too. That's the life's bunch. abundance. You can get through our website. That's um, just order only. Yeah, that's just one I have in my room. And then first, oh, you're not gonna let this go. No. First shampoo. <laughs> I like the. Is it Island? Isle. Isle. Mm -hmm. Isle oh yeah. The there's no D. Isle, Isle of the dogs. dogs. It's oh. one of our favorite brands. With a doodle, it's so important to use good shampoo. But I'm gonna give you a trick to save money. Um, and make your dog make the bath worth it. You have yeah. to shampoo twice, any dog, 
and use conditioner once. So we do a cheap shampoo the first time, get all the dog guck out of them, the dirt, the grossness, the grease, the grime, just use a cheap shampoo. So you have to shampoo twice, and then we use our expensive shampoo, which I have found, the, this is one of those things you have to spend a little more money on. It's just like, girls out there, the difference between a high quality shampoo and conditioner and not. Okay, so the high quality shampoo, we shampoo with second after a cheap shampoo. I have a cheap shampoo in my room, but I just can't use it. Yep, and then a, the, a good conditioner, usually one that matches it. And yeah. then blow dry, especially for the doodles. But any dog, I mean, like a lab doesn't necessarily need conditioner, but you still shampoo twice the second time with a good shampoo. It makes all the difference in the world to maintain cleanliness and smell longer um, and the quality of the coat. For my doodles, I use the comb and waterless shampoo and I'll just work at it. But there are just in like between, the yeah. for matting. Oh, what do you use to help with matting? That's what so I we, use, but ooh. I hate the canvas backwards. <laughs> we have angry. what's called the stuff. Um, so again, the stuff on Amazon, and it's a detangler, conditioner, degreaser, de yeah. de dirt er that the we stuff is good. that we use, and it helps like you spray it right on the mat, and it will help you work through the mat. There's also a tool called the dematter. Um, and we have that out in our grooming bag in our nursery. It's not in Jenna's room. I do no, have another video on YouTube. If you type in and look on our channel with um, things we have in our grooming bag, and that has some first aid kit stuff and, and the, yeah, the stuff we're talking about yeah, for the mats. I think, I think that's it. Is that everything? That's yeah. what you pulled out of your room? Yeah, there's more, but like that's the... Some taken, some borrowed, some I have bought. my closet. <laughs> and, all, and my closet's like this big, and this is how much is like of mine in there. And the rest is animals uh, yeah. for the dogs. Yeah. Between the bunny and the dogs. Yeah. There's the rest of Good job. Mine. Some of your favorites. Yeah. And That's it changes. Use... That's what's in her room right now. Um, yeah, it changes a lot. It changes Especially on. Especially because this what? is almost empty. I can't afford it. <laughs> so I'll go back out and steal another waterless shampoo. Yeah, she still ours. <laughs> yes. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. No, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome for, uh, when staff can't find anything. That's not completely true. I don't, I wouldn't point the finger back at me. If staff, do you want to, we can go oh, bring no, all the oh, staff no. in right now. No, and no, ask no. Them, we you don't need to find do that. Something. We don't need to do that. Who we, took it? We don't need to do Jenna. that. We don't need we to do don't that. absolutely do <laughs> we don't not need to. need to ask the staff who does that. All right. Any, yeah. any questions for Jenna or myself? As she shares some of her favorite things. Brookie, hey, you want to come say hi? You, you want to get Brookie up here and say hi to everybody? Uh, Brookie, 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 come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Pause up. Pause up. She get dirt on her back. Come here. Yeah, oh yeah, she has mud on her back. That's funny. Brookie, pause up. Danny, get pause out of the tree. Do you want Danny? I'm supposed to get on you. Oh, there she is. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There's Brookie. <laughs> She's like, wait, what about that tree? Yeah. Ryder, where'd you go? There she Come is. There's Brooklyn. Okay, uh, Black Warrior Ranch. I love that name, by the way. Black Warrior Ranch. Phenomenal. Oh, like that. That's a fantastic business name. I love it. And late and we'll watch when it ends, but can you talk about your puppy bathing process? Like our puppies, before they go home, we bathe twice. Yes. We bathe with a cheap, cheap shampoo. We have a gallon of do uh, Isle of a Dog. Yep. That then we wash with, and then and we conditioner. do the good conditioner, and then we blow dry. We towel do dry, then blow dry. towel dry, then blow dry. We do. Hey, Brookie, pushing at the trees. Um, we do. We did invest yeah, in. Um, it's called the Flying Pig. It is a blow dryer. It's a little over a hundred dollars, or at least it was, and it uh, makes all the difference in the world. If any of you have a doodle or a dog with longer hair, and you're bathing mm -hmm. at home. It's truly worth the investment to buy a dog blow dryer. We like the brand Flying Pig. There's even a pink one. Um, I mean, how Just fantastic is that? Uh, and it, it reduces the time. Like using a human grade blow dryer on a doodle or dog does is, not work. It, you guys, I, please stop. <laughs> I did please that invest, for a long time. Please invest in a blow dryer if you're doing it often at home. It, you'll thank me, I promise. Do you have an assembly line or one person, <laughs> I, uh, an assembly line? In fact, yeah. right now as we speak, they're out bathing puppies for tomorrow's go home. We have, we typically have, depending on how many litters, but let's say it's one litter, um, three people. So 
um, two people are, how do, one person is bathing, two people are blow, blow drying. Dry. So we have two blow dryers, one per person is bathing. So that's how and we do it. Sometimes if we have like more people that volunteer, then we'll have two, two and sets two, two or teams, two, yeah. Or two litters, then it will be one bather, one blow dryer per litter. So yeah. we, it, it takes, if we have the staff or the volunteers or whatnot, we'll have ideally if one litter, like five, six, eight puppies are going home tomorrow. It's actually two litters, but eight is like basically one. We have one bather out there right now and two blow dryers. <clears throat> Jenna, when will you do more training videos? Yeah, Tom wants to know. I want to know too, Jenna. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I get know. Jenna I don't know. to do more training videos. I don't know. I mean, in case you don't know, Jenna is 13 and she has single, I, I can't stress it enough, single-handedly I mean, she was raised, she was raised yeah. in this business. She has, I was raised but, in a welping box. She was raised in a welping box. She was raised at my hip, training dogs, learning dog language, learning how to honor and respect a dog, learning dog psychology and what they're thinking, um, and working them through fear, uh, working them through over assertiveness, re reading dog body language with two dogs together. Um, and she has though now single handedly at 13 raised Ryder and Forrest and uh, Eleanor. God, she was oh, little no. with Eleanor. Oh, was really raised them from puppyhood through advanced obedience, through public access work, and could put a vest on the and and two train tasks. And she could probably train more than two um, with all of these dogs. And so, and every dog's different, and they have different sh training challenges. Plus, she works our dogs on the. Um, What's it called out there? Agility. Their agility course, uh, working through the agility course and, and working with, that's why then some dogs rotate, like for example, Lemon's in here right now. She'll rotate parents in here and work with them. Um, and give just them some house time. Give them some house time and some obedience Another and time on a leash. And, and yeah, so weeks, yeah. Um, 13 years old can train a service dog from eight weeks, well, really from birth because uh, she, she also does can do all of the neonatal care, enters everything into the software, um, does the ENS, the ESI, the puppy handling, checks weights, changes ribbons, what else? You haven't tube fed yet though, right? I haven't tube one. fed yet, yeah, well, we're getting there. And then you haven't done sub -Q fluids yet either, have you? No, no but she's no, learning so. how to collect semen and do an AI. <laughs> I still. I will or someone else still collects the semen. <laughs> but she has she was a part of not just once um, watching and learning how to do the artificial insemination aspect of it. So yeah. Yeah. We're getting there little by little. And and you've kind of been playing around on the ultrasound machine too. Oh yeah, I enjoy doing that. <laughs> she's learning the ultrasound machine and looking to to try to help verify pregnancies. So she's learning that too. So um yeah, you're welcome, Black Warrior Ranch. I love that name. That is a really cool name. Man. Okay, Heather's asking, what's your favorite do doggy deodorizing spray? Well, I love this one. And then I also have a fresh and clean say, we'll baby tell. powder. Yeah, we have a fresh and, the brand fresh is and fresh and clean. clean. And I think that's even that's like my a room tractor room. supply, maybe even Walmart. Um, Amazon, it should be fresh and clean. Should yeah, be. yeah. Life's it Abundance, the Kiwi Mango is really, it's really, really, good. really good. That's one of my favorite, and it lasts longer. Yeah. It's just a couple sprays for dogs and cats. So. Do you hear how loud That's Ryder is bone. as a chewer? This is why Ryder's not allowed to chew around me. <laughs> Can I have that? Thank you. <laughs> she's, like, she's the loudest. That's she's, what she's chewing on. And she's no... an obnoxious drinker. She she's is. an obnoxious <laughs> she's <my girl>. chewer. <laughs> she's you like, what, do, what just happened? <laughs> what did I do? Bring her up here and show everybody. Ryder, come here. She'll do She's like, Mama says not to get up there. So funny because they Come know they're here. breaking the rules. She's trying to get her to Come break here. the rules. Pause up. Can you, can you put your paws up? And there's Holly. Okay, okay. There's okay. Lemon. Everybody's there's coming Brookie. Now. <laughs> yeah. Give it Holly. Holly's the queen. Holly first. Okay. Holly. Okay. Oh, that's a tail. <laughs> do you want it? Brookie, don't break something oh, with your yeah. tail. But yeah. don't break something with your tail. Lemon. There's Ryder. Do you want this there's one? Lemon. Oh, yummy. Oh, Holly's puppy. Pause up, pause up, pause up. She's like, no. Yeah, she's like, I don't know what else do. I don't know about that. Hey, okay, here. Okay, here. Okay, here. There's Ryder. Lemon. Lemon. Holly's Ryder. Puppy. Ryder's a Brooklyn. Bridget. No, Charlotte. Holly. Uh, and Hannah's mama. Who's Anna? Ryder's mama. 
uh, Beatrice. Beatrice. Beatrice, baby. Um, and then yeah. Brookie is a Natalie, F1B. Yep. Holly, uh, not one of my babies. Holly, but had Hannah. Babies. Yeah, my, my originals. They started this We have a bunch they. of doodles, doodles in this house yeah. right now. So. All right. Yay. We're good. All right, you guys. Happy Friday. I'm Jeanette. And Jenna. And we're not only healing hearts and changing lives through the power of a dog, right, Brookie Cookie? Uh, <laughs> but we are changing breeding from bad to badass and mentoring and training and bringing so many breeders with us, too, to continue to honor our dogs, understand their needs, respect them in their placement, giving them that voice so that they can truly live out their purpose and they are understood um, and having that innate bond with a human that has correct communication so that Who's dropping food on me? Did someone drop their treat? Sorry, no. I got all distracted. She like, just dropped a on treat. <laughs> um, so that our dogs are are given the opportunity to live out their purpose, and we're not forcing them to do things that, that they that they're not that they don't want to do that they didn't apply to do. It's the same thing with us trying to force our children to do something that they're not passionate about or or don't feel that that's using them to their best abilities. So it's truly the same way with our dogs honoring the integrity of what they were bred for number one is so important and then number two um choosing them so it's the right fit in fact i was having this conversation yesterday at um at the memorial service with somebody about you know she goes i've had a lot of dogs in my life but i've just had that one you know that once in a lifetime dog and i hear this so much and i've, I've always been really fascinated by this thought of that once in your lifetime dog and what i really have what I really feel, and I, and I understand and know that there is that, and there's no two dogs that are the same, but I also feel strongly about what made that dog special, why it was your once-in-a-lifetime dog, is because the match was so good. Both of your needs were the same, and there was this instant innate connection that you were able to read each other's feelings and body language there wasn't a lot of tension between you. There was not a lot of friction. There wasn't a lot of frustration. It was just such a beautiful fit because both of your souls were so much alike. And I want there to be that people can say they've had that once in a lifetime dog more than once. Their second, their third. Your previous dogs could never be replaced. I want you to be able to have that kind of connection again. And that's done through puppy evaluations. And that's done through giving that education that information to you the buyer so that you can make that decision based on temperament is this really the kind of dog i want to live with is this really the kind of dog that will make me happy is this really the kind of dog i can meet their needs too and make sure they're fulfilled happy and balanced and that is what is magical and that is the true power of a dog we use the martingale and the frog collar. <laughs> Off topic, just so you saw the... Yeah, Angel's asking, sorry, what, what yeah. type of working collars do you use? Depends, Depends on the on dog. Because we honor and respect our dogs. Yeah. The martingale um, uh, and or the prong. So depending how assertive sorry. or any uh, excitement sorry. issues or control. Sorry. May have to start on the prong, move to the martingale, vice versa. Some just the flat buckle, especially when they get older. Like we're still placing it a year old. They, they're still puppies. Yeah, they still so get puppy weird. brain. Like Brookie loves kids. Yesterday, every time she'd see a kid, she'd get her little puppy brain. Um, and so they're still babies. And so it's still honoring that and understanding that as well. Giving them the tools to succeed in a respect, respectful way um, is so important to us. So I got the dirt off, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good weekend. We will talk to you soon, and I'll see you guys for sure uh, Monday when we take Brooklyn in to meet all of you. We'll get to meet Jeff, her new handler that I'll we're be working too. for. I think Jenna's going to go too. The City of Henderson yes. um, first response. It's kind of a new program to um, help our first responders. She'll go into the debriefing. She, debriefing. She'll go into um, firehouses and the police stations and dispatchers and paramedics and, and truly be helping. And you know what they brought up yesterday too, we don't think about is the crime scene investigators are <laughs> in some ways first oh, yeah. responders and what they have to deal with too. So she has a, a phenomenal job. She's going to have a huge impact. And so that is what we are going to be yes. focusing on for Brooklyn's that, that will be her job. All right. Bye.